Okay, looks like I am live. I'm seeing myself right here on my screen. Uh, it's the first time I've ever done this where I'm, um, yeah, saying it's live there. Let me see what I got on my phone. If it comes up at all. Yeah, there. Hey, that's working great. Actually, what I'm doing is I'm going through Zoom. And then um, so I'm sharing my screen through Zoom. And uh, then I can see myself on the screen at the same time. And then also, um, you can you can actually just share parts of your screen or whatever you want. So um, I think this is going to work out pretty cool. But the reason I'm uh, going live here today is because besides the fact that I should be doing this a lot more often and showing people what I've been building, what I'm up to regarding membership sites and stuff like that, it's just that I, I finally, somebody said the other day, I finally cracked the holy grail. And, or I guess that's not the right term. I found the holy grail or I cracked the code. I'm not sure, one or the other. And... Um, but what we did is actually it was a student of mine came to me the other day and asked me the same question that I've had asked a hundred times before, which is, can you create multi membership sites inside of ClickFunnels with a single login? And I've come up with two or three different ways over the years. And, but when I sat down, I really started thinking about this because it was really a project I needed to work on. I finally came up with a solution. And when it hit me, I was just like, holy cow. This is the way to do it. So I'm going to show you here what is a live site. It's going to kind of look like it's a mock-up, but it's a very, very simple live site because all we're looking at here is what are the mechanics? When we click on things, what does it do? How can we get this set up? And so I just have a very simple couple of funnels, couple of membership sites specifically in order to do this. Now, this isn't like... Uh, your regular teaching type platform like a Kajabi or something else where you set up a dashboard that are basically just courses. This is actually full blown. You can have multiple different ClickFunnels membership sites on different domains completely and be able to, from a single dashboard, be able to have the person log in, click on it, go to the content, and if they don't have access to the content, what it can do is it can send them to a sales page, an order form page, a webinar, a blog, anywhere you want them to go, but it'll know if they have access or not. It's when they click on it, it will kick them out. So you see my little diagram here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come into a main access page. So this is what I have open here. And like I said, it's as ugly as can be, but it's all about the mechanics here, not the beauty of it. So we're gonna click on our login button after we put in our username and password. And we're going to end up here now on our dashboard page. And of course, you can make these pages, all these pages, you can make look like anything you would like. You could use my Funnel Flicks templates. You could use my Kajabi templates, my Ascension templates, my Quick Start Blueprint, any of the other templates that I have. You can use that and overlay it on this because these mechanics just run behind the scene. But what's on the screen can look like anything you want it to look like. So in this case here, you're going to see that this one and this one, you can't really tell, but they are grayed out because what it's saying is I have access as per the person I just logged in as over here on the access page. I'm now in this area right here. I have access to this content. So I left it colorized, whereas these other two, I turned them grayscale and there's different ways you can do it. That's not what I'm looking for. This one right here. Let me just kill that tab. This one right here, I just changed the CSS a little bit different. So these two that I don't have access to, I kind of um, made them half opaque and put a red border around them and a little bit of, of um, uh, border around the uh, uh, shadow around the back side of it. And so just to make them look different. So again, the point is the ones that people do not have access to, you can make those look like whatever you want. And of course, the image over here where they do have access, it can look, um, again, however you would like. So in this case here, let's go to one where I don't have access. So in this case here, like I said, you can send them to any page you want to. You can send them order form page, webinar page, sales page, blog page, wherever you want. In this case here, I'm sending them to Google. Why would I send them to Google? Because it's an example. Okay, so same thing here. If I click down here, I think I have it set up to go to Yahoo, okay? So that's not the important part. So that would be in our, in our uh, thing here. We come down here, we have them go through the sales process. So on this side, they have access. On this side, they do not have access. 
So these two do not have access sales process. We would send them through the sales process. And once they go through the sales process, they buy, they again will be redirected back up here to the top to the access page where they'll get access and be able to go through and get to see their stuff. So the other side of this here is where we have access. So now if we go to one where we have access, we're going to click on it. It's going to auto log us in. It's, you're going to see, it's going to be, it's going to say it's loading and there will eventually be a little spinning wheel. I just didn't have time to put it in. So we're going to do an auto log in. And then we're going to go to the area where of course you're going to have your content. And again, in this case here, I have, so we have our loading, there'll be a little spinning wheel here. And I just put in this, put in this alert just to stop it for a second. So you can see the page here. So again, this is going to be an access page. You're going to build it out however you want. You can make it all pretty, all your colors, all your images, all your, you know, make it look like all the restrooms so the branding is standing out. But then eventually it'll only take really a second or two. Uh, then it will move forward. So I'll click on that to allow it to move forward. And so now it'll take us into our membership area. And again, here, you can make this membership area look like anything you would like to have it look like. So again, use any of my templates that I have in my training, and then you can make it look like whatever you want. And then when we're done, as you're going to see on our, on our thing here, got a little dashboard button. So we're going to have this dashboard then take us back up here. So I don't have this in here yet, but what I'm going to have it do is I'm going to have it log you out of this membership area and then bring you back up to the access page. And if you're already logged in to the access page, like you just saw before, we came into the access page, we logged in, because we're still logged in, we then just come straight through back to the dashboard page. So it's really elegant. If I had any more set up, these two are colorized, but I don't have them set up to go anywhere. If I had any other setup, whole process would just repeat. You click on another one, it opens up a new tab. And then because we were logged in here still, it, it put us right back in. Like I said, in, uh, you know, when we're done here, I'm going to have it so it actually logs you out too, um, just to be able to keep people from accidentally leaving it open. And so I'm building in other, other security features here as well. One of the other security features that I'm putting in here is that if somebody just has the URL to the page, they, they can click on it and try to get in. Let me just grab the URL up here. Um, let's see if we can get this to work. Let us copy that out. Now, the only problem is I don't have the, the logout part in here. I should have put that in first before I filmed this. Now, actually, let's try this. Let's try a new incognito window. Let's see if we can get this to work because that way it may not know that we're logged in. And if so, then yeah, see, we're not gonna be able to do it. But the point I was gonna show you here is if somebody comes in with just the access link, but doesn't come through the regular dashboard right here, it's gonna kick them out. It's gonna get them to this point here and it's gonna kick them back to the dashboard if you want everybody to go through the dashboard. Now you may have a situation where you already have 10 different membership sites and you got thousands of members and you don't want them to have to go through the dashboard if they're already a member. Well, then you don't put in this security feature and then anything that would be an access or an access link from the outside access link not brought into through the dashboard would then still allow them access to the inside. But then when they logged out or they clicked the dashboard button, it would take them back up here and then they could go through the process again by logging in. So now the only thing that it really becomes an issue with this is let's say you got 10 different membership sites and Susie came and she bought all 10 and she used different email addresses for all 10. That will be a problem. Uh, but there's really no way around that. So something like this is great, especially if you're building something absolutely new and you're creating all these new memberships from scratch. But even the other way, you can clean it up. You can, you know, you'll get a couple of support tickets, uh, but you should be able to clean it up pretty quickly. So that right here is the multi-membership with the single login. Now, let me show you one more that I'm, I'm working on. And actually this one um, was brought to me by Mitch last night and it made me really start thinking, let me see, how can I make this bigger? And that's not what I want. Now I'm moving all kinds of stuff around here. Um, now I can't move that. Okay, let me let me see here. What I what I did is I'm only showing part of my screen. So let's see. 
well, forget it. You're just going to have to see what you can see on here. So what he came to me with is an idea of doing a challenge. So let's think of doing a 30 day challenge. They were doing a 90 day challenge. That's why we're at day uh, 45 here. But um, think about doing a 30 day challenge and having somebody log into your membership site and land on to what in this case here, they're calling the dashboard is this first page. So they come in and they land on it. So what I thought real quick is, oh, well, what I need to do is set it up so that they know exactly what um, we, we know what day they're at. So they, they come in, they sign up for the challenge or going through it day after day after day after day. What we need to do then is say, okay, you are on day 25. And so because of that, then we're going to show lesson number 25, but we're not going to show anything else. All it's going to show is what you see on the screen right here, or a similar, this was a mock-up that Mitch had done. Um, so it will come in here and it will show lesson for day 25. And in here, you could have whatever content specific to that day. You could have an inspirational saying, you could have homework for them to do, could be videos for them to watch. And in this case here, because there was a health and fitness kind of thing, they were saying, this would be a plugin that you'd have to get from third party CRM or something like that. You could put in here and then it would be, okay, did you drink enough water today? Did you exercise? How much sleep did you get? You know, that kind of thing like that. So I thought this was a really cool way that you could be able to just give to your people in your challenge every day. They come in on day one, they're going to get lesson one. On day two, they're going to get lesson two. On day three, lesson three, but they'll never see day two again, and they won't have access to day two again. They're always going to, so it's going to force consumption as people move forward through this entire process, if that's the type of challenge you want to set up. And there are other ways that we can modify it so that it didn't have to be that stark we could maybe put in like weekly content so okay these are the five challenges for this week um but just remember that come next sunday boom all five of these are gone so you got to consume them now uh, and before it's too late so that is what i have for today i just wanted to step through some of that stuff and just to let you know that I extended the enrollment for the for membership ninjas until tomorrow. So if you still want to jump in on that, we're still looking for beta testers. We still got the beta testing pricing, but Wednesday night cart closes. And if, um, if you're not in, um, you don't get to get in again until the 1st of April and the price will double come the 1st of April. So if you want to get in, you want to help me build a bunch of stuff, test a bunch of stuff, and most importantly, have me help you hands-on build your own stuff, then I would strongly suggest getting in because after this, um, the next group of people coming in are not going to get the hand holding that the people are getting right now. So that's all I have to say. I'll put a link below. It's, it's getmembershipninjas.com, getmembershipninjas.com, but I'll put a link below this video when it is done. And now I have to figure out how to get out of here. So let me go back here and go to Facebook and nope, that's not it. I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll just have to turn Facebook off. So I'll figure it out. Either way, y'all have a great day. Stop share. Live on Facebook. Stop.